Welcome back everybody to episode 5 of 8 of Figma in 15 minutes. In today's video, we're going to simply just talk about components. This is a shorter video than the rest because uh, last time we made a sample design mock-up. It took a while to just recreate and get familiar with some of the shortcuts. But this time I think it's a fairly short video and it's easy to understand actually. Okay, so today we're going to be talking about uh, components. So what are components actually? Well, remember here we had around four of these cards before in the last video that we made for the cards let's say if we wanted to change one of the let's let me give you an example let's just select this and copy these this roughly oh that's a bit too rough <laughs> um copy paste paste all right so as you can see we have these things let's just put this rectangle back here um and as i told you guys in the previous video or some video uh that you can move stuff there is back all right cool so now we have four of them let's say i want to change one of uh, i want to change all the color all these colors to around like a, a darker blue so i have to go one by one and or you can select them i mean actually if you want to change the font or something like that if something difficult that you want to change and then you have to go through let's say hundreds of your cards let's say there's four here now but there could be millions and hundreds of uh, cards that you want to change colors of so that's going to be difficult. You have to go one by one, select everything, and that would be difficult. But from the beginning, if we use a component, uh, that would make it much, much easier. So I'll show you guys how a component works. Okay, so we don't need these cards, actually. Now in this case, I think I'm selecting that. All right, cool. Oops. All right, so now we have a single card. Now we can just bring this out. And it's not a component yet, but it's actually very easy to make it a component. So how do you make it a component? Well, you can either do Control Alt K, which I'll put on the screen. Um, and now it's a component. As you can see, it's purple compared to the blue, which is just a normal comp uh, an element. So, or you can just right click um, this or your selected area, which you can also group by clicking Control G, which is also useful. And you can right click it and create component. All right, I prefer uh, getting familiar with the shortcuts because it makes it much quicker unless you have to go find stuff like that, say plugins. I wish they had some shortcuts, but they don't. You have to go find it and do all the stuff. All right, cool. So now we have our component. So let's just give an example of how this looks. Let's say I want to copy and paste this component. Um, let's just make some instances. These are called instances where you can copy and paste the component. So yeah, let's just copy and paste a few, and that's four. Yep. Okay. Now we have four. Let's say now this is too bright of a gray. I want to change it to a black or a very dark gray. So all you have to do is come to the master component. These are instances. If you change these, nothing happens. It just changes for that specific one itself. So yeah, you can come here, double click on it, or just hold Control and click uh, on it so you can select it, and then just change the color. Let's say I want to make it a bit brighter than that. Alright, see now they're all changed. Or let's make it an outstanding color so you guys can see the difference. You can just go through the whole color wheel <laughs> and you'll see the difference as you can see. It's cool. Okay, cool. Now we have our instances. Let's say I want some of them to, some of these uh, to be dark and some of them to be bright. Let's say I haven't selected all of them. I want to select this one, this one, Okay, let's just change them one by one. As you can see here, it's a bit too difficult. Uh, you could either go to one of them and change the color manually. Let's just try to select this one. And let's say make it some a darker gray. So that means we haven't selected it. So yeah, either you can do that or you can actually make another component with a different color. I prefer just changing it manually if there's just a few. Because in your design mockup, you're not always going to just change this stuff manually. This is just a design. So yeah, let's say this one's this not selected. And let's say I don't like this color, I wanna make it brighter. So let's just change the color. And if you have another idea, and if you want to detach one of these instances, or you wanna make stuff invisible, let's say I want, I don't want this. You, want, you can reuse this for another type of card as well. Let's say if I uh, just group this part and just hide it. This could be now another card, which you can put different, let's say, um, stuff there. Let's say you can put a. As you can see, it's changing live. <laughs> it's cool. 
So you can, let's just say roughly, I put some arrow there. You can click on it or go to another page. But for now, we'll just keep our previous component over here. Okay, so yeah, I was saying, if you want to detach a component, uh, I mean, that means it won't be under controlled by the master component, right click it, and you can do detach instance or control alt B. Okay, as you can see here, now it's detached. Now it's a separate thing from this. So if I change this now, so if I change the text, nothing will change for this one. So that's pretty handy if you want to do a special case for another component. And yep, yeah, that's it's actually pretty simple. So other in other cases, let's say I have many of these. Um, let's say I have a full page of them. Let's make a small page as an example. Um, let's make one two five by two six nine um, rectangle into five by two six nine. Okay, so that's the size of it. Let's make the background color this color. Let's make it white actually. Make it white. Okay. Then we have. I want to have some instances of this. Uh, let's bring it all the way forward. Okay. I want to have some instances of the component again. And the good thing is, in different pages, let's say this is a, this is when you click on this, or when you swipe, uh, scroll up, this would be a full view of all the things you can delete. Let's say. So let's say I want to change all of these. The good thing is, let's say these are different pages, right? So if they're different pages, that means it's very easy actually to just change everything, every single component in every page. And as you can see here, I did a, a very good technique that Figma offers, where if you select all your things that you want, uh, and then as you can see here, there's this square with three lines on it. If you click it, it automatically spaces them equally. All right, so now exactly the same thing. You can even change the color. You can change it back to this color, as you can see. You can see how it looks like and how it how it's cool. And yeah, all those stuff. So yeah, I think that's basically it for this video. Hopefully you guys learned what components are. I don't think it's that difficult to learn it. And yeah, I just told you guys that if you change something here on an instance, it doesn't change in the master component. So if I want to change this, for example, to 1 point or 5.223, then you can. Then you can add different names to them as well from the instance itself. All right, so that's this video. And in the next video, we'll talking. Uh, we'll be talking about prototyping, which is linking uh, pages together and maybe even uh, adding scroll to. Let's say this this page will have more of these, and we can scroll down into uh, to see more of them. Right now, it's only a static page, and if you view this, it wouldn't look. It, it wouldn't be scrollable. So yeah, that's this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.